I was 12 when I first saw Cosmos, and the thing, particularly the very famous 13th episode, made a big impact on me, which was really a, a plea to use all we've learned about our place, our physical insignificance, but yet, because it's likely, in my view at least, that civilizations are rare, you can make an argument actually that the, 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 we may be the only civilization at the moment in the Milky Way galaxy. You can argue that. It's a possible point of view. So that connection was made so powerfully in the context of the nuclear arms race at the time, 1978, 1989, 1980. And that put me in mind of um, an essay which I think uh, the value of science. It's a, it's a famous essay by Richard Feynman which was based on a talk that he gave I think back in the 1950s the early 1950s um, and you would expect it you would expect him to say that the value of science is in the, the spin-offs the technology increased life expectancy medical science etc and of course he says that first but then at the end of the essay he says that is not the most valuable thing if I could if I could give communicate one thing about the process of science and Brian Greene actually emphasized this absolutely rightly I fully agree with him it's um, what Feynman called, he defines science as a satisfactory philosophy of ignorance, which I think is a wonderful definition. First, it's very humble. First of all, it's merely satisfactory. And it is the philosophy that you begin ignorant and you build ideas, you test them against data. As Feynman very famously always said, if, if, if your ideas disagree with the experiment, they're wrong. And it doesn't matter who you are or what your name is, they're wrong. In that very famous speech he gave, you can obviously see on YouTube. But I think that idea that he goes on to develop, that, that the, the, the gift of science primarily is the, is the philosophy of ignorance. And he extends that to the idea of, a, of what a democracy is. He says that because nobody knows anything with 100% certainty, the only way you can run a society or a country is, is by a trial and error system. So you try something for four or five years, and if it doesn't work, you turf the guys out and try something else for four or five years. And in his own inimitable style, he talks about that. But he's surely right. And I think that is one of the, the key things that we can aim to deliver. In, in any science documentary, of course it will be 90% about the science, be it cosmology or the origin of life or biology, whatever it is. But underpinning that, the idea of the, the celebration of uncertainty and, and making sure that, ev uh, for me anyway, every time we, we speak of ideas, as, as Brian Green absolutely beautifully did, we underline the fact that this is always preliminary and there are no great sages that stand and get it right. No, no Trumpian ideas are present in science.